Hey guys, how y'all doing? I'm here to give you guys a recap on Fate Zero, which is on episode 12. Now, this episode right here, two years ago when I started watching this scene, I was wondering like um, what kind of role it was supposed to play in, you know? But eventually, as I like um, have an understanding later on down the road, it seems to me that it showed a lot of like... Um, how am I supposed to say? Certain setup of what is supposed to be happening later. So if anything else, let's just go. We have to it that Kira ends up talking about Tokiomi about how writer's um, noble phantasm is almost at the level of Archer or Gilgamesh in other cases, you know? And this just shows that it seems like to me things are still not going to be looking great right now as Tokiomi is going to plan, make a plan how to like um, fight um, writer, you know? As for Kiritsugu himself, he is pretty much like um trying to like um plant trying to like get things all together since like assassin is killed and right now like um Kaya is like an easy man to kill right now along with like um let me see here Kaneth being in in a very messed up injured state and along with like um one of the masters of casters just doing killings for fun you know that kind of thing in the war and not caring about what's been happening. But as the usual, we have to it that throughout in this episode, there's always the scene about like Archer and Kire, you know. And this scene, and this, uh, and the entire scene between Archer and Kire in this episode just shows a lot of what is really bound to happen later in the future. Before I get into that, you know, we have to it that Irisfield and Saber is moved to a new base apparently, and that base is related to what is. Bound to be shown in Fate Stay Night, you know? That kind of thing. Those of you who watch the Fate series will know what I'm talking about, etc. But, yeah. Of course, Iris Feel, on the other hand, was not feeling any good right now, as she somehow lost one of her senses, and we all understand why, as the usual comes on by and keeps going in, the, in, other, in any other cases. Even Saber was concerned when she asked Iris Feel, you know? As Iris Feel decides to show, um, Saber how hard she's gonna tuck her hand or press her hand or use her strength. It seems like to me she's not she can't use it. She can only muster like only a little of what she could give, you know? And that is problematic. And that's about it. That's why she's gonna depend on Saber to lay, to maybe do a couple tasks for her, even simplest ones. Which Saber like um complies with 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 um politeness, you know? As we have to it that um, between Archer and Kira, it seems like to me they were talking about pleasure and seeing how like Kira is being the spy of using Assassin to keep an eye on the Masters and finding Kari and Mato like a little interesting, you know? At first, like um, we have to it that Kira does have a little small talk with Archer, have a big talk in this in this episode with Archer, you know? And of course, like, when Kira thought his role was done, it looks like the Holy Grail chooses, chooses him again because the command seal appears right on his hand again, you know? And it seems like Archer says, it looks like the Holy Grail has a certain, has a surprise for you, you know? So it looks like to me your role is not done. Whatever the case may be, you need to find that pleasure or something. Anyways, you can't really know what your desire is in your heart, right? Why not just go for the grail and ask for the grail to grant you the wish you desire? And Kira says, that's like going against my master, you know? He goes like, yeah, but at the same time, you better find a strong servant that's able to stand up against me. So, yeah. Although Archer was about to make a suggestion, though, he says like, um, everything is up to you now, Kira. Find your desire, find your pleasure, and by that time, you will find what you're looking for. Everything is now up to you. So it looks like to me when it came to like um, the talks in the series between Archer and Kira, it seemed like to me it had a major role to play because I didn't understand that at first like two years ago, you know? Because it seems like to me like Archer is using his manipulation on Kira to do something that Kira would not actually do, but possibly end up doing it anyway, if you know what I mean. Those of you who watch the Fate Zero series or Fate series anyways would understand. <laughs> Especially those who watch Fate Zero. Now I'm just re-watching it for fun and just prepping up for Heaven's Field. So if anything else, that's about it. I'll see you guys in my next video. I'm Alpha Zero. Have a good day and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out. Bye-bye.